Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode here. So, last episode, I believe I mentioned at the very start that I had found a slime chunk right over here, and that I was intending to build a slime farm. As you can see, I did a lot of work off camera, and that is now uh, done for the most part. Well, I think it is done. Um, so we have, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, maybe 11, 11 or 12 swan platforms here. We have water streams all on the bottom here that just push the slimes all around to here. And then once the slimes get here, they just get funneled into this drowning trap. Stuff goes in the hoppers, goes over here into this item elevator. Item elevates up to basically, and it gets funneled into basically the same place as all the skeleton drops. I added a slime filter here. We've gotten a few good amount of slime balls thus far. Um, I got a ton of... Um, what do you call it? Cobblestone from this. All those kind of resources. And now, um, I there's one more thing I need to do to make the skeleton farm more efficient. And that is light up all the caves around here. So, yeah. I think I'm going to treat you guys to a little montage of the montage clippy thing of me going around and lighting up all these caves. Um, so, yeah. I'll be right back with that in a minute. Okay guys, so I'm starting on my caving trip, and before we get properly started, I just wanted to point out a couple things to you guys. Uh, number one would be uh, this pickaxe I'm using right now. It is, oh my, not my really amazing pickaxe. Uh, I put that one away, this is just an efficiency four. Fortune three, I'm breaking three, one. Uh, and then second of all, I guess would be this fancy diamond armor, as you can see probably by the fact that I just survived that close range creeper explosion. And then number three, I guess, would be these permafrost blocks. Uh, this is one of these underground cave biomes they have in Quark. And these things come in slab variants, stair variants, maybe a couple other variants. Uh, but you can use them to build with and stuff. So, yeah, I thought I'd just point that out. Uh, floor we got some packed ice. And then that seems to be uh, all that's, you know, abnormal about this. Other than that, it's just normal cave biome. I, I'm not going to take any of this stuff right now, I believe. But, oh, I wonder if there's ice under this. No, so it's a thin layer of ice. So, yeah, if we ever need um, some one of these underground biomes in Quark, if I didn't point that out already, uh, if we ever need or ever want any of these permafrost blocks or packed ice, I've taken a screenshot of these coordinates so I know where to find it. But anyway, yeah, guys, I'm going to hop right into that montage now. So I hope you guys enjoy.
Alright guys, we've geared up, got full diamond armor now, now, great sword, great bow, ender chest, ender pearls, we're more ready than we ever have been, it's time to go fight the center dragon. So, I believe I've already knocked out, first of all, let's just get over toward the middle of the island where it'll be much harder to knock us off, I believe I already knocked out all of the end crystals. So that should hopefully make this fight a lot simpler. This is just going to come down to shooting the Ender Dragon enough times. There we go. So, yeah, my goal here, just take the Ender Dragon down real quick. Um, and then, you know, uh, jump in the portal, try to go to an end city. We'll see. Uh, there will also be some... There's a quirk feature or that's going to spawn after the Ender Dragon dies here, and I, oh my, oh shit, wait, my stuff is still here? I came back and looked for this once, and I never found it. Uh, alright, I'm making a chest, I'm not getting knocked off the edge by the Ender Dragon, because I'm smart, where is she, where is she, there she is, and... Alright, uh, I need to throw down a couple chests here. Alright, I'm watching her out of the corner of my screen. She's coming for me. She's coming for me. Alright, this is going to be tricky. These items are sufficiently near the edge where I do need to be worried about that. Um, we go over here. Yeah, let's go right to the middle of the area. Craft a chest. That's going to be... Just the first most important thing that we do. And craft. Bam, bam. Alright, now we just need to throw as much stuff in there as fast as we can. Looks like that's a nice... Shoot, I didn't get that pickaxe. Well, it's a hell of a lot better than not having any of that stuff. I think the pickaxe was probably the most valuable thing, though, so that does kind of suck, but... Now let's just hope the dragon... I, you know what? I'm just going to pick out the valuable items here. Bam, 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 bam. And then cobblestone. Plus the wood. I do need the wood as well. Did I get all those things? Yes. Okay, now I can focus on the dragon fight again. There we go. Slowly but... Got a nice hit there. Come on back. Yeah. Oh no. No you don't. I do not want to get knocked off today, Miss... Well, Miss Dragon. Because you lay an egg. Cool, it did. But it don't. So... I really don't want to go up behind the Ender Dragon there. So if she wheels around on me. Then... I'll be dead for sure. Well, I could probably Ender Pearl to save myself, but... And not for sure, but I would have a chance of becoming dead, and I really don't want that. Oh, yeah. Alright, we landed one. Last second there. Alright, we have a good amount of room behind us here, so we could... When she gets close, that's an opportunity where you can hit her with two or three shots, and that's good. Okay, yeah, fly up there. Well, here. Good shot. Okay, get behind her, and then we can jump up right here and hit her. Oh, she's getting low. There we go, we did it. Finally. Bam. Oh, okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and gather this XP, probably shovel a few... Uh-oh. Well, I fell in the end portal by accident, so... Now is my perfect opportunity to stash these couple things. Alright guys, welcome back. So I ran back through here to the end. Actually, I'm going to go grab that XP real quick over by the portal. Uh, but you can see this ore here. I believe this is called biotite or maybe ender biotite. Ender biotite ore. So yeah, this is useful for a couple like redstoney bits in the uh, quark, the quark pack. Really just a couple like quark features. This is like an important component in crafting them and such. So, 
I don't think I'm going to grab any right now, um, but it's here if I ever need it. Um, so yeah, it's like a three minute run over to the end portal. So, sorry about that, that's my phone, I'll turn that on silent. Um, so yeah, it's three minute run over here, I don't really need to worry about that right now. And now, we start the teeth gritty part of our journey by pillaring out across the void. I am shifting, right? Okay, good. I'm make sure my keyboard's all working and that I, you know, not just think I'm shifting. And so I gotta make my way over here to the end portal. This has gotta be as far out as I've ever seen one of these. Oh, and I have to go down? That's not gonna be good. You, you can't like, see, I should have thought of that. It's easy to go up, but it is not easy to go down. Um, when you are pillaring across the void and whatnot. Okay. Okay. Bam. Can I drop down onto that? And, alright, thrown in a pearl through. Here we go. Okay, we made it. Let's run away from the edge just in case anything happens. And we made it. I'm going to take a screenshot of those coordinates. And, well, I'm... Let's go. Got some exploring at the end to do. I'll probably do a little bit of a montage cut up or whatever for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. I can see in the distance, guys. It just came right into my screen. It's going to be time to explore our first end city in this world. And I'm looking at it so far. It looks like a nice big one. And it has one of those end ships. That is a double win there. One more ender pearl to get over there. Perfect amount. And we made it, guys. Let's just go touch the fortress so we can say that we made it. And let's take a screenshot of those coordinates so that if anything terrible were to happen... We could find our way back here. And I do not want to get hit with their shulker. Ah, oh, whatever. Just kill him. Okay, I just shot myself. That was not the, the most intelligent thing I've done today. Um, can I stop rising? That'd be very fun. To stop. There we go. And come back down here. And die a swift death. Where do you put your friend? Didn't drop anything, right? Nope. Um, there he is. There we go. We got our first shulker shell. We need two of these to make a shulker ch uh, shulker box, uh, which is, you know, if you didn't know, basically a chest that um you can break and it keeps all the items inside of it, which is very very helpful for uh you know transportable storage as you know you might assume uh plus you can you know put them inside of chests and hold them inside of your inventory with all the items in it so it really just changes the you know storage possibilities in this game completely uh also fun fact of the day probably had a lot of those already this i know fun facts could be my minecraft username um yeah, fun fact of the day, if you put your bow in your offhand and you have a looting sword in your main hand and you kill something with your bow, like... I didn't know you could shoot while closed. That's hardly fair. I'll just go... Yeah, see how the... Well, they bounce off when... But if you kill something with your bow with your looting sword in your offhand, like that, you get the looting effect applied to the whatever you call it, the drop of the shulker shell in this case, or whatever else you're killing with a bow with the looting sword in your offhand. All right, and then we get ourselves some nice end city loot. And I'm gonna take a quick break, guys, cause uh, I gotta pee, but then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I crafted up my first couple shulker boxes here. 
threw a bit of our loot in there. Here's another one just waiting to be used. And what I've done in the past is I've just kept... Oh, that's cool how they do the GUI. I would assume that would be bigger and more intrusive, but it's not. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the chests in the end fortresses to craft the shulker boxes and then fill, um, fill the shulker boxes with the loot I get. And so if we pillar over here, we can keep exploring. I believe I got all the shulker shells from this area. Got five of them, not too bad. Um, yeah, if I had a goal for today, well, I'm... I really want as many shulker boxes as possible. I don't want to want a lot in the future, but before we do a really big deal and expedition, I'm going to want um, elytras and rockets. And while I could grab an elytra, I am planning to grab an elytra from the place over there, the ship. There we go. That's another thing I like to do that I've not seen many other people do, is I just use the water as a um, what do you want to call it? Basically an anti-elevation type thing. And five seconds. We can get up a little ways in five seconds. There we go. It's about to drop away. There we go. All right, now I can just climb up the rest of these until we get to the top trick one. Aha! Uh -huh. Mine that away. And we are in another one of these. Uh, these are probably the most dangerous areas in the fortress. In my opinion, if you're wearing a diamond chest plate instead of the elytra, you should be in very little danger whatsoever. So my my strategy for these is just on my way up, kill as many as possible, do damage to as many as possible, and then um, make sure I'm eating food and whatnot. Have my feather falling boots on in case something were to happen. Um, but you should get shot enough by these guys. To keep you got you going up, made it up here. Um, then I can, you know, shoot the last couple guys, and then I can go back down to the bottom and collect all my loot, all my shulker shells. Oh, come on! You there? Oh, also something I didn't notice about these um, rooms the first few times I was in one is. This whole thing, like with these end rods and these slabs around the outside, is a giant parkour course. Come on, open up at the right time. There we go. Shot him. Alright, I think that's it for them. Bam. Bam. You can also get a lot of diamonds and other cool stuff from these. Um, yeah, we gotta open up our under chest. Forgot, I like to keep the one shulker box out and not, you know, away in the under chest so that I can just put loot in it without having to, you know, throw down my ender chest each time so there we go um and yeah okay time to jump back down grab these shulker shells and then i i don't know how much of this fortress we have to explore i thought i killed all these apparently not and can i avoid the shell yes i'm an all-star and i got another two shells XP down here. Are there any shells? Don't see any. Now I don't know if I would or if they're outside the re render range or whatever. Um, there's a shell up there. I need to look from the top down to see all these shells and little shells. Any shells on this layer? There's one. And climb up a little more. I think I just picked up another shell. I heard the sound. Any more around here? Some XP over there. Let's go all the way to the top just to make sure we didn't miss any. And... Nope. That should be good. Alright, we're at the top here. Okay, we need to get over there, actually. Let's just climb up here and just mine down. Should drop us right here. Yep. And I know that guy's going to shoot me in right now. No, I thought he's he's shorter on the draw than I thought he would be. Normally I calculate the other way. Not Normally I don't give the mobs more credit than I should. And there's one of them up here. And he hit us, so now we can go up here. He's right over there. 
Hopefully these guys don't teleport. That's my least favorite thing about them is when they teleport. Okay. Yeah, I need to be careful here. I need to kill him before he can launch me up too high. Okay, good. Now, I do a feather falling boot so I can survive a reasonable fall, but not like 100 blocks or anything. Should be able to get down in three seconds. Yeah, that's... This might hurt a little bit. I'm in a water bucket, just in case. Okay, it only did a heart and a half. And let's throw this in here. Uh, to be honest, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, here we go. Uh, where else have we not explored? So, can't see that other side over there, but I think I would if there was another side. So, we do need to do the ship, obviously. We need to... Have we done all that? I think we have... There is an area over here. I need to go check out. Just jump across real quick with our magical pillaring skills. Yeah, okay. Oh, similar to area to the other side. And... Ugh, die. 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 There we go. Didn't get anything from him. Is there another guy at the top? Where's this other guy? Oh, he's on the side this time. There we go. Um, let's get down inside and kill him from here. Am I in levitation mode? Yes. I want to land on him. Okay. Yeah, we should get to safety. And that one's going in the void. <laughs> okay. And let's make sure we're on top now. Let's make sure there's no areas we forgot. Now, if we're getting... I think that shulker shell is from that other guy. If we get shot with any additional shulker shells, we will know that there's somewhere we have missed. It can be worth it and it cannot be worth it to try to hunt down those last couple of guys because they can often be... Pretty elusive hiding places you would not expect. Okay, um, yeah, let's head on over to that ship. And once we get the elytra, we could even, you know, do a little more aerial check. Okay, we almost shot ourselves. How about no bow in the offhand when we are pillaring? That's a new rule. Eat up some steak, get some cobblestone. So, I'm just going to pillar straight across. Eventually, they will shoot me. And then if I've made it enough ways across, after... Yeah, if they shoot me at this point, I think I could make it across in the 10 seconds. Okay. Here we go. They're not shooting me. I would really expect to get shot by now. And I think I will any second now. There we go. I think the way I kept moving, because I was doing that, I kind of threw them off. Uh, let's just get up, get up. All right, there we go. We're up. And die. Die. Please, please just die. There we go. One down. Two down. There's one more outside there. Do you want to grab that dragon head when we get a second? Can we fall, please? Please fall. Yeah, this is doing way less fall damage than I thought it would be. Um, where's this last guy? Let's see if we can peek our head out and see him. Now oh, he must have teleported. I don't know where he went. It's inconvenient. Possibly died from my thorns or something. There we go. Got ourselves a brew stand. Got one guy in here to kill. Bam. Eh. There we go. And, oh, well, that's a nice sword. Ending. And a few nice iron pickaxes. I'll take them. Um, let's throw down our purple shulker box. Doesn't really matter what color. And just start throwing in our stuff. There we go. Well, I'm gonna just break the chest. And, bam, bam. Am I gonna use you? No, not. No, I'm not. Okay. 
probably not going to use cursed iron things. It just doesn't seem like if you, if I get an amazing item, I'll be able to put up with the curse on it. But it doesn't seem worth it for iron stuff, particularly tools. There we go. Uh, oh, also, I'm going to grab a few of these end rods. I do need to grab a couple of the end plants for seeds and such. But end rods can still be a pain to craft. And I do need a few for an upcoming project I want to do. We're actually going to be using these to craft something uh, particular to the cork pack, which is one of the things I was most excited about in this whole pack. So I'm excited about that. We'll be doing that maybe next episode, maybe in one after that or so. Um, but yeah, it might be time to... I might don these elytra and set out on a flying trip. So I do not have... Um, any method of propelling myself other than gravity, so I do need to be careful. Yeah, I, I don't know why I have flown with Elytra before, but I really would like to do a test flight before I jump off of here. <laughs> no? uh, so I guess we're, I'm just going to head out in this direction, and I'll meet you guys again when I see another end fortress. Hey guys, welcome back. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of the episode, first of all. Uh, I just want to show you, we got a Several diamonds from that. By the way, this is a couple days later. I'm just editing it all up and ending the video now. So, uh, we got several diamonds from that. Some gold and some iron stuff, too. Uh, we have 64 shulker shells in here. And then we have a bunch of shulker boxes and stuff in here. Uh, I think we have a couple somewhere else. I'm not sure where. Um, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, in our ender chest, I think. Yeah, we got a few in there, too. Uh, we got, if we look over here, we're starting to make up quite a collection of diamond armor and iron armor and all this stuff. Plus one, two, three, four. And then, oh, can I click on it? Five elytras, one on my back. Uh, we put mending and I'm breaking on this. Um, yeah, and how I got back from the end, by the way, after after I looted that end city, the, the one that you guys saw, I looted two more. I was going to put it in a time lapse, so you already had that whole caving time lapse today. I figured that was probably enough. So, yeah, just looted two more. It was, I think the second one was pretty big, third one was pretty small. Um, well, I must have looted several more, because you don't get five elytras from three fortresses. Whatever, I recorded three. I don't know what all happened. And then I ended up just going through the end forever, looking for one of those, um, those portals to go back to the main end. But ne they would never show up. They're supposed to randomly spawn past either 1.11 or 1.10. They just weren't doing it. Not sure if that's a quirk thing. I am 98% sure it was just bad luck. But in the end, I just decided to kill myself. The only real thing I lost... I was able to put everything in my inner chest in the shulker boxes and stuff. But the only thing I lost in the end was my uh, armor. But I decided, hey, I'll just use a few of these diamonds. And, well, actually, I don't think I used any raw diamonds. I think I used the um, not-as-good armor pieces I'd found to repair up my um, armor. And that took most of my levels. I also got mending on these pants now. And so basically I just repaired up everything I had. And at that point I was down to like 18 levels, which is not a lot to lose. So then, uh, yeah. And so getting up next episode, and you remember I told you about those end rods. Well, um, I'm not going to give you guys a sneak peek. Well, I know I will. I'll give you a sneak peek. What we're going to be, stuff we're going to be doing next time. So if you look at this contraption... Cobblestone generator, that's called an iron rod, it automatically breaks blocks, and yeah, I'll get to telling you guys all about that, and hopefully another even cooler contraption I've been working on, which you guys might even get a tutorial, I might make a tutorial for this one too, but you know, it's fairly self explained we'll see. Um, but yeah, I've been working on a really cool contraption in a creative world that I really think you guys are going to like, and also this area needs a major facelift, so I'm thinking of using these kinds of blocks, but either way... Uh, this next episode, at least right now, my plan is to devote it fully to this industrial area down here. And then maybe we can get back to the surface and our cool build up there. But I want to get this place not looking like trash first. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we finally got back at that ender, ender dragon. Yeah, ender dragon. Did really well in the end, didn't die once. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.